Oh, hey guys. Let me close this up. Clutch here. Welcome back to Hazard County. Well, we've got the Bronco again. And, well, last time you saw this, you may have remembered it had a hard top on it. We've taken that hard top off when we were off-roading out in the mountains there. Gone back to, uh, well, back to what we're doing on Hazard, of course. This is what we've got here. Got to have it open when we're down in uh, Hazard County. Of course, it's so much warmer down here. There's no snow. We're good. So we took the, the top back off today. Well, we've got something cool going on. Um, I want to go back to the old logging camp. I want to take the uh, the Bronco, have a little bit of fun. There's something I need to go check out as well. I wanted to, well, I've got a trailer somewhere over here. There it is, the I4 Williams trailer. we got our, our small little trailer. I kind of want to bring some of our planks back uh, from that logging camp we got going on there. And uh, I want to uh, see if we can make some money off that, that stuff. I don't know what we're going to get off that. I just want to bring some planks back, get an idea of what we're going to get for that. Let's back this truck out of here. Fire up. Noise. And uh, we'll see what we're going to get for it. Now, it's going to be a little bit of work, of course, to load that up. That's not the best way of doing this. But, oh, come on, close for me. Close those doors. Today, this one. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I hit it twice. There. That looks better. Um, yeah, so I want to uh, go pick up some planks, see what kind of money we're going to make off those. If it's worthwhile to use the planks, or should we just bring the lumber straight on out? I mean, I've got Mike out there. Work it away. You know Mike. He's, uh, he's busy working away at that lumber mill. Stuck in the mill. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, I'd much rather be out here playing around than working in there. All right, we'll hook this bad boy up, and uh, we'll head out back into uh, the hills, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do some off-roading today. Yeah, I think we've got the right vehicle for that. That is for sure. This Bronco is fantastic. All right, let's, well, kind of get to work. Pitter-patter. Clutch simulations. Yeehaw! What's going on, guys? Look at this. Just ripping her up in the Bronco. <laughs> I'm going to slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Oh, man. <laughs> I love this truck. Best driver in farm sim. Let's see how fast we can take this corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, man. Listen to her just purr. <laughs> oh man, this thing is a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, I, I absolutely love driving this thing. It is uh, a, just a blast. Now we still got that trailer on the back. I don't know if it's skidding around back there. I don't even care. We could just put the hammer down and fly. Whoa. Anyways, um, so we're gonna be loading up a little bit of wood in the back of that trailer. Now we can only hold, I bet you maybe one or two pallets. I don't even have a forklift. That's something we gotta talk about too. We gotta get a forklift or something out there. We're gonna have to hand bomb it in with Mike, and uh, he'll be able to help us out, right? I think he's he's been working out. I wish cousin Whammer was around. It'd be nice to get Whammer out here. I don't know where he's at lately, but uh, yes, yeah, so we'll see if we can get that brought out, bring out, uh, get that loaded up, and bring it back into town, and see what kind of money we're gonna make. Now, before we do that, though, there's something else going on out there. I was looking at the uh, the deed for that whole that whole property that we purchased. And in behind it, so there's we have the, the logging camp, of course, as well. They had that resort they built kind of in the back there against the lake. And on the back side of that, there's a whole trail system. Oh, and there's a shed that uh, it's on the map, but it doesn't really talk about it at all. Oh, but it's on our property. It's all ours. we got to go take a look and see what's up there. I haven't been up in that neck of the woods yet. Um, we've kind of done a little bit of exploring, but you know what? I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride today. So we're going to go up and take a look and see what we got there. And there's nothing quite like trekking through the woods on Hazard County. Um, the old logging roads back here are so much fun. So much fun to have a, a nimble little truck like this Bronco. Look at this thing, like we're just cruising through here, no problems, and well, up ahead, well here's the hill climb that I never want to take with the uh, the semis. Hammer down boys, let's go, get her done. Go, 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 go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, easy, easy. <laughs> oh man, all right, that's uh, Let's calm her down a little bit. We're almost at the logging camp already. Uh, coming down here, just down the bottom of the hill, we're gonna run into our logging camp. Now we've still got both leased semis here. I gotta get rid of the other one, I think. I don't think I need the flat deck here anymore. Um, but I could use that to bring out uh, possibly, yeah, cause I got two flat beds. I don't need them both. We'll take one back maybe at one of these points. I can probably get rid of the second truck as well. I don't need both of those leased right now and give those back to that forestry department on hazard here. Uh, let's just shut the truck down. We'll leave this, uh, We'll take this trailer off and leave it here for the time being. So, you can see, we've got wood everywhere in here. Loading up pretty good. Now, I have no clue where the heck Mike is. He's got everything on autopilot looks in here right now. Um, <laughs> good job, Mike. Uh, looks like we still got lots of wood in here. 
Yeah, we got lots of wood available. Uh, we just got to figure out what we're going to do with all of these pallets. Like I said, I've got to maybe hand bomb these. I was hoping that he'd be here to help me hand bomb into the back of the trailer. I think we can fit two of these pallets in the back of that trailer. I don't know. Looks like it'll fit two. I think we can get two on there. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at that. Anyways, things are going well down here. I still have not gone to get any wood um, other than what we picked up the other day. So I don't know if you missed that. Go check that one out, of course. Now, as well, I should forget to mention. I always forget to mention this. There is a new version of this map out right now. You guys should go check that out. Go download it. If you haven't done Hazard County yet, make sure you go download this map. It's a fantastic map. It's found uh, over on Nexus Mods. That's the most recent version. You're going to find it there. Uh, this sawmill won't be there, of course, in this one. This is a different mod, but I've got this listed on my mod list at clutchsimulations.com. So if you're looking for this, you can find it over there as well. Anyways, definitely go download this map. Um, I'll put a link over on my mod list as well for that. So if you're looking for it, definitely give this map a try, guys. If you're on PC, it's fantastic. Anyways, I digress. Since we're uh, going to be waiting for Mike here, because I, I don't really want to hand bomb these on my own, let's, uh, let's take the Bronco out for a cruise, guys. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. There's a, a whole area off the side that we haven't really examined yet brother's disconnected good to go all right now off to our right we'll head back uh where is the road is it down this way i don't even know where it is yeah it's down it's down over here somewhere uh you know what i don't think this is it can we go left here i know i can't remember where it is oh man i oh there it is there it is there it is okay right in here is the main kind of entrance into the the camp and like I said, guys, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with this yet. We're still in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why they have these big cabins out here. I mean, it's so far out. How are you possibly going to get this many people to come visit this place? It'd be nice. It's a cool spot. Oh, and this here, like, there's just a big open spot. It looks like they had a burnt down building up in here. I don't know what they would have had, but it's all... There's nothing here anymore. She's burnt down. She's got one. So I don't know if this was maybe one of the reasons why this place is kind of... Well, it didn't work out so well. I don't know if this was one. I don't. I have no idea what this building would have even been. So, anyways, he's almost like a front, to be honest. Um, and we don't know anything about that. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go up the road a little bit here. We're gonna head up into the woods a bit deeper, and uh, I'll show you what else we've got here. Now, I was up here just the other day, and if we look off to our left here, whoa, 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 whoa. easy, easy, easy. I think this is it right in here. Uh, we went straight, and this kind of leads down to the river. If we go straight ahead, there's a bit of a river up ahead down there. This way here, I have no clue. No. You know what? Road less traveled. It looks like it's going to go to where I want to take it. Let's see what the Jeep can do, guys. Come on, baby. Up we go. Nice. Oh, man. All right. This is going to be a trickier one. Uh, we got that big bumper on. Should we just hammer it? Let's get up there. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, no. I'm not going to do it. I have to go at a bit of an angle here to get over top this tree. They're kind of cranked into place. There we go, there we go, there we go, up and over. Yes, all right. Noise. And around this tree, and then down the path we go. Awesome. All right, so I didn't take this path. I saw it last minute, and I didn't think much of it until we went back and were looking at the deed and noticed that uh, this, this roadway was a little more prominent at one point in time. I have no idea why there's nothing up here now. And it seems like it's kind of hidden, so I wanted to check this out. Like I said, there's one structure kind of in the middle up here somewhere. And, uh, well, we're just going to follow this road and see where it leads us. Kind of marshy, lakey over on our left here. Uh, she's pretty, yeah, it's pretty wet, pretty soggy down here, guys. Uh, up on top of this little part's not bad. This kind of rock face, but you get down to the bottom here, it gets kind of craggy and moist and, like, very mossy, wet stuff. Uh, it's kind of a pain down in here. Oh, easy, easy, easy. I do not want to roll way the heck out here. Oh. Holy smokes, yeah, if we roll the Bronco wheel here, we're in so much trouble. Okay, now, judging by how far we've gone, I think this is where we need to go. Oh, yes. All right, let me just take a quick look. We'll put this in park. Yeah, okay. So literally, we got a lake down below. The road does keep going, and I think this joins in. This might join into where we other, the other road was. I'm not even sure anymore. But where I want to go is up this way, this road right here. There's a massive hill up here. And at the top of this is where it was showing the building I wanted to go take a look at. So, well, you know what, guys? Let's do some hill climbing. Let's do this. Buckle up. Hold on tight, because here we go. Hammer down. Come on, Bronco. Oh, man. Go, 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 go. Oh, we got to dodge trees the whole way up. Oh, man. Through, shoot the needle. Through the needle. Through the needle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then off to the right. And, oh, man. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Look, guys, we got found it. Nice. Oh. 
All right. Um, I'm going to park this right here for now. That is epic. That is an absolute crazy hill climb. Look at, <laughs> look at like all the fallen trees up here. Oh, man, this is crazy to try and climb up this thing. Very crazy. Awesome. All right, so let's see what this is in this shit now. This, uh, this isn't what I was hoping for. I mean, this looks pretty beat up. Um, uh, there's some stuff in here, though. What do we got? Anything good? Oh, well, what's, what's this? Oh, man, I've seen one of these before. Is there anything else? That looks like the only thing that really interests. There's a bunch of junk over here, but this is one of these 8x8s. Eight this kind of, I mean, it looks it looks pretty old. I mean, this is going to be a 70s model. You know what? My uh, my uncle, when I was really young, had one of these. I remember being up in northern BC, and we used to take these things for a cruise all the time. Now, the nice thing about these, well, you know what? Notice how it was kind of marshy down below beforehand. We kind of look down below. You can kind of see how, oh, man, this is such a high cliff. Um, it's kind of marshy down there with that lake, and the uh, swamp's kind of running in. And I bet you that's what they were using this for because it was really good to get around with, I'm sure, with this because it would float, right? You could get into some water and it would be fine. Um, that's that's pretty cool, guys. We could definitely use this. Now, we had this, like I said, up in northern BC. My uncle used to take us around and we'd go into uh, some woods and it was always swampy. It was always fun. I mean, it wasn't terribly fast, but uh, I, don't even, like, I don't even think this is like a European model, too. Like, it was an Argo, was it Arco or something? Anyways, yeah, well, it's right hand drive. It looks, is that a right? I don't even know anymore. Um, how are we going to get this thing out of here? I don't even know. Oh, man. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing started up. I wonder if it'll fire. I mean, how long has it been sitting in the shed? At least it's been covered. At least it's covered in here. I don't need to worry about too much. Yeah, but I mean, like, look at the... You got dirt coming in. You got garbage all around it, at least. Kind of protected it, actually, to be honest. Um, should we dare starting it? Let's see if we can fire this thing up. All right. Let's turn it on. <laughs> it started right up immediately. I mean, it, it doesn't sound healthy. In fact, I think that's like high idle right now. I, I don't, I can't even, we can't even change the idle of it. This is full blast. Huh. Well, it seems to be running fine though. It's kind of buried in here a little bit. I wonder if we'll be able to get this out now to figure out where I'm going to put this and what I'm going to do with it. I need to get it off this hillside. Maybe we can bring the, uh, the trailer Oh, I could probably bring the trailer up and load it in the back of the trailer. But I need to get it off this hillside to do that. and Because I'm not going to bring the trailer up this hill climb. Well, let's see if we can uh, bring it down the hill. Sure, uh, it shouldn't be that that bad. Let's just go in here. All right, let's uh, reverse. Where's reverse? And it's just, Oh, yeah, it's just one. It's forward or reverse. That's it. All right. And throttle seems to be stuck on it. It doesn't, like, we're in, we're in almost like high idle right now. Huh. Well, you know what? I'll just kind of feather it forward. We'll see if we can, like, I'll have to shove it into drive and then reverse or neutral. Oh, man. Okay, right. well, let's just get out of the shed, all right? Let's give her, give her a little bit of gas here. Oh, well, it's already on. Let's see if we can put it in gear. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, oh okay. Now, neutral, neutral, neutral. I said neutral. Oh, man, I, I can't stop it. Um, It's not going back to neutral, guys. I'm just going to crank it over. Oh, man. Um, Holy... Uh, uh, I can't see anything. Um, okay, how am I going to get out of this? I'm going to straighten it out and back towards the shed. Let's see if I can do a circle of the shed. I can't get this thing into neutral. Why won't she not go into neutral? All right. Um, what could I do for another plan for this? I don't know what to do. We're holding about 10 miles an hour. It's not going super fast at least, but oh, it's so rough in here. All right, guys. I'm going to see if I can aim it towards the shed and bail out. Oh, 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 jump. Oh, no. Oh, so much for that. So that didn't really work out as well as planned. Where the heck did it that thing go? Oh, man. Let's see if I can just get down the side of this hill. Um, oh, of course, there's a creek that runs through here. That makes perfect sense. And, oh, man, there's so many shrubs here. Watch, this cliff is deadly. All right, get down this. And a couple more here. Oh, you know what? Let's go, let's go around. Let's just grab on and back down, walk down this cliff. Awesome. Uh, all right, where the heck is it? <laughs> Look at all the fallen trees down here. Huh. Um, well, it, it, I thought it came down like right off this side. There was two little hillsides that came, comes down off of that area. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think we found it. Um, 
Huh. How are we going to get this out of here? Uh, lights are still on. Well, that's that's a good sign, I suppose. All right. Um, oh, man, I have to get the Bronco in here, guys. I'm going to go get the Bronco. We'll bring the Bronco in. We'll have to haul it out. I, there's no way it's going to start anymore. And so much for it floating. Um, I don't think she floats, guys. I, I think that's <laughs> it's going to need some repairs. Let me go grab that Bronco. I think this is as close as I can get in here with the Bronco. Um, we're going to have to fight our way in here, guys. Right where these trees have all fallen, remember? Let's see if I can kind of cut in and around some of them. I think we can get around most of these ones right here. Some big trees down in here. They must have been getting started with some logging at one point in time. Just never got around to finishing it off. Never used these trees. Look at them all. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Now, this there's a little bit of a canyon here that I walked out of to get back into this area. Uh, are we going to be able to fit the Bronco through all this? Shrubs? You know what? I need to... Uh, this one here is going to cause me some problems, isn't it? This one right here. Oh, man. Yeah, see, there it is. It's right there. If I can get through this, let's uh, go grab the chainsaw, and we'll cut this tree out of the place, and then we should be able to get in here. All right, chainsaw in hand. Let's see if we can buck some of this up and just make a little bit of, of room through here. Uh, let's crab right here. Get rid of this. Can I delib this thing while I'm at it? Yeah, there we go. Grab all these branches. Get rid of all them. You can kind of see at least we have a way in here now. What about this? Can I just buck this one up here? We'll cut this right here just to get rid of a piece. And I'll see if I can get rid of some branches. I just don't feel like scratching that Bronco up completely. And it looks like lastly I've got one more big piece right here. I wonder if I can get rid of this at all. Let's see if we can kind of sneak in here. Uh, chopper right, right here. All right, and that looks good enough for me. We should be able to get at least in here, right? Yeah, that looks good. Cool. All right, let's grab the Bronco, guys. Uh, where is it? There it is. At least we've made a bit of a path in here. There's a lot of fall trees in here. I mean, this would be a kind of an ideal spot to maybe come in here and uh, do some logging. We do own this property, so why not? Anyways, let's pull this guy in. Oh, she's rough. <laughs> get up there. Get on up. Nice. And where is... Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. All right, we'll park this right here. Stop that for now. Let's make sure I turn the winch power on. Cool. All right, Bronco's looking good. Winch is on. Let's go connect this winch to the back of this thing here. Come on, baby. Where are you? Get that connected. All right, winch is connected. Nice. All right, guys, let's uh, see if I can just... I wonder if I can... You know what? I want to get this closer. I'm going to pull this. I'm going to back this right on out of here. Let's just grab the remote. And we'll start uh, winching this in. And winch. Come on. Get up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Truck's running into me. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Get up there. Nice. All right, guys. That worked out well. Now, can I back the truck out? That's going to be the question. I want to back this thing up nice and gentle and just see if I can drag this with me. We'll keep it nice and tight so it's it's forced to follow my path. I don't want to get stuck back here. Get are nice and easy. Nice and easy. Get it on the road. Oh, man. There's some lumber here. I never thought about that. Uh, you know what? It's going to be okay. Oh, bad. Nice. Perfect. All right, guys. This is great. So I'm going to back this all the way out go back to uh, the uh, the lumber mill there. I want to grab that uh, that trailer I brought out. We'll load this thing on the trailer for now and take it back home. That worked out actually not too bad. Alright, we found it back again. Uh, let's see here. We'll just load this up and we'll get it on out of here. Let me get the ramps off the back of the trailer and uh, I can just probably have to shove it back in. Of course, I don't trust this thing. I'm not going to drive it anymore. Not until we get this thing looked at, guys. There's no way I'm going to drive it until that uh, that gets looked at. Let me get the ramps out here. All right, and let's just give the thing a shove back. Come on, push her back in. Oh, let's see if I can uh, not... Oh, come on, steer for me. Oh, let's see, these four axles, they definitely make it a little more difficult to uh, try to steer it. There we go. Now, just push it nice and easy. Come on. Nice and easy. Up the ramps. Up those ramps. Get up there. Oh, she's heavy. A little waterlogged, I think. I wonder how that happened. Yeah, she's definitely a little bit, uh, a little waterlogged, guys. All right, let's just get her up that ramp. And all the way back. Nice. All right. Um, 
You know what? I can turn the batteries off on this, I suppose, can't I? <laughs> Leave the batteries on. Uh, I think there's like water in the lenses. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever. All right, let me get these ramps on up, guys, and uh, we're going to take this thing home. Oh, bad. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to just sell it. Let's be honest. Let's make some money on it. Well, so much for uh, picking up the planks and making some money today. That turned out to be a total bust. Of course, where the heck is Mike? Come on. This guy's slacking off. I need to get Whammer out here. He needs to cut some wood for me. Someone find Whammer. I haven't seen him for a bit. Whammer, I need to put you on a milk carton, I think. Anyways, uh, we'll take this back to the shop get this thing drained out. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with this. I mean, who wants oh man, who wants one of these? Someone want to buy one of these from me? It's going cheap. Like, I don't even know. What, what, what would one of these be worth? I have zero clue. <laughs> I mean, they're cool if you need it, but I really don't have a use for it. I'm not much for hunting out here. For the most part, uh, maybe you can go fishing in it? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, we'll take it home, get it cleaned up. Whoa, see if we can not get it to kick out of the back of the trailer here. Best driver farm sim. Yeah, I know, I said it again. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of it then. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're not already a subscriber. And I will catch you guys next time. Clutch with his uh, Unimog here. Whatever. The, what, is, what is this thing called? I can never even remember. Eight by eight? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you next time. This is Clutch over and out.